War and Peace was kind of my first main step up into editing. And I just love that kind of traditional storytelling. There's nothing kind of overly fancy about the style of it. It's just beautifully shot, uh, incredible storytelling. I hadn't read the book before working on the project, so it was seeing how relevant that story is to today um, and kind of how that interpretation still holds a lot of weight into sort of the things that are happening in sort of today's government situations, while also hopefully entertaining people. Generally for me, it's really reading the script and working out the, the crux of what that scene's trying to achieve and who the focus should be on. And then once I've done a cut, I kind of will look back at the scene and kind of think long and hard about who am I delivering on that scene and who emotionally should I be invested in at that time. For a show like Jamestown as well, where there's a lot of scenes with multiple sets of people within the same scene, it's always quite difficult to get that balance of people watching other people and the shift in the focus on who you actually want to be on at what time. Avid for storytelling is such a great tool because it just, it really speeds up my ability to put my ideas and also to just try multiple ideas as well. I'll often do multiple, uh, multiple versions of the same scene and I find Avid's great at just kind of being able to let me quickly duplicate a sequence and then just change my idea about how to present a, a scene and just to try a completely different version as an alternative option. I think with Avid's new AMA system, um, things are a lot quicker in being able to bring in. Um, now it's got faster transcoding. And also being able to integrate LUTs into everything now makes things a lot easier. Things like that are really kind of helping reduce the amount of time that assistants are taking each day. I came through the assisting side of things. And when you come through the assisting side, you, you need to know Avid and you need to learn all the kind of things that will help speed up your processes that you're doing every day, but also help assisting how the editor works um, so that there's no sort of barriers that they have to keep combating each day. Um, and it's just trying to help clear that road for them every morning that they can just sit down in their room and start cutting. So for an assistant, I think it's just knowing how all of the tools in Avid kind of work. The better you know the software, the more help you can give other people.